Hey guys, Top Ops here, and in today's video, we've got a, <laughs> a lot of packages to go through. So, let's get started. I know all of the boxes that I have in today's video are kind of just over the course of like maybe a week or two and I don't remember everything that's inside but that's why it'll be fun to open them up today. And this first one here, if you've been watching the videos for a while, would probably know that it's from GameStop because they ship all of their stuff in these exact boxes. And now I don't remember ordering this but this is a Zoe five star figure from Fortnite. I mean it's a Funko product and I don't have it so that's neat and if you guys want to check it out, there it is there. Wait, hold on, there's a letter in here. Thank you for shopping at GameStop.ca. We also included something extra with your order as a small token of our appreciation for shopping with us. Oh, GameStop, thanks. Well guys, it looks like I've got Zoe from Fortnite in my collection now, but let's actually get into what I purchased because it's, oh. Well, it's, uh, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about here because it's, well, uh, All Might, again. This right here is like maybe my third or fourth All Might. What happened was, is I'm pretty sure this was the first time I had purchased it. Then I got it inside of a mystery box and then I also purchased it when I saw it in stores just to make sure that I got a nice box. So I have a lot of this figure, but I mean, I'm not complaining because it is a nice one. It's just, why did I purchase so many? Oh, well, I guess when you think about it, I only actually purchased two on purpose. The mystery box, I didn't know what I was getting, so we'll give that one a pass. <laughs> Alrighty, now here is one coming from the Funko Shop, and this one here is... Oh! This is a good one! And this is a new one that I don't have in the collection already, so I think you guys are gonna like this one. Let me see if I can get it out of here without ruining the box. Give me a second. Wait, I think I got it, I think I got it. Okay, I did. This one right here is the Concept Series Stormtrooper, and this is the Funko Shop exclusive. If you guys wanna check it out, this is part of the newer Ralph McCory set, and I am trying to get every single one of these, so I definitely had to get this one. And if you guys wanna check out the back of the box with the rest of the set, there they are right there. And this one compared to the common one, I believe has a shield in its hand. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, actually, now that I'm looking at this one, it's not just the shield. He's actually kind of in more of like an attack stance with his legs a little bit farther apart and the lightsaber a little bit farther forward, still with the shield too, but there's just a little bit more going on. And I don't think that this one's sold out yet, but still, I'm glad I was able to get it. Funko Shop package number two. And for this one here, it's probably gonna be very similar to the last one where it's inside of this little box here. And we've got one figure, which is an exclusive to the website. And yes, that is definitely what it is. And if you guys are wondering which figure it is, it's actually the one that I talked about, I believe in yesterday's video where I didn't pick it up from Toys R Us because I said it was on the way. And here it is here, guys. This is the young Michael Scott. And I'm hoping that Funko makes more of the young characters in the future because this wasn't the only person in the photo. There was Michael, then there was also Packard as well as Ed Truck. And I think that was the three. And it would have been really cool if Funko made a three pack, but I understand why they didn't because the other ones are kind of like less significant characters, even though it would have been cool. And I think that this one's really funny, especially because Michael has the fanny pack on as well as the really long hair. And I'm glad that I was able to get this one again, very similar to the Stormtrooper. And again, I don't think that this one sold out yet. And when you look at the back of the box here, I think this is the only one that I was missing. No, no, there was one more in the set. And if you guys want to check them out, there's all the commons, but I'm still missing. And I did pre-order it already. It just hasn't come in yet. It is the Dwight with Blowtorch. And once that one comes in, I believe I've got all of them? I think so. At least from the new set anyways. And I guess let's get on to this here, which is two Funko Pops that I had ordered from a bigger package. I guess I did some of it, but not the whole thing. So we're just gonna find out what this is. Oh, I know what this was, Black Friday. And the two that I was able to get were these ones right here, guys. The It's a Small World Netherlands, as well as Daffy from Gremlins 2. And now this one here, in case you guys are wondering, was the last one I needed from my It's a Small World set. So if you guys wanna check out the Netherlands a little bit closer up, here she is right here. And I think this one really does look nice. And from what I can remember, I got this one for, I believe, $10. I know they're normally like 15 on the website. So with having that Black Friday sale, it wasn't a bad deal. And if you guys wanna check out the back of the box, there is the rest of the set. Oh, and you know what, now that I think about it, I'm still missing Mexico. I gotta get that one. And now let's take a look at Daffy, because if you guys have never seen Gremlins 2, well, no, just pop a photo of Daffy on the screen. Like, he doesn't look great. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's really funny that Funko did make this character and it's weird that they've only made this one from Gremlins 2 And I feel like it's probably because a lot of the other characters are very similar to the first one It makes sense and now really quickly I wanted to take Daffy out of the box just so I could see him a little bit closer up and oh, yeah You can see it. That's really cool So it looks like they made him in like the pot of like noodles or macaroni like it is in the movie But you can actually see all of the noodles inside of the pot and you wouldn't normally be able to see that If you didn't take it out of the box so you guys can see at the bottom there There's a lot going on and I really do like the amount of detail that Funko put into this one. 
Okay, I know what this is. Careful, 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 careful. And if you guys couldn't tell what they were by me shaking it, here it is right here, guys, a bunch of Funko sodas. And now we're not gonna be opening up all of these today because I'm probably gonna do like a specific soda video in the future, but we might have to crack open a couple of these ones because today we've got All Might. Let it focus, let it focus, let it focus. There we go. Donatello, Harlequin Demon. And last but not least, Frankenstein Jr. And now there is two of every single one of these cans inside of here. And I think for today, we're gonna be opening up all all Might because we did open him up a little while ago and I want to see if I can get that chase today. And if you guys don't know what the chase is, he is actually glow in the dark. And I could not be more excited about this one because I want to see how it glows. And I know that this can isn't very rare with 20,000 pieces being made, but I mean, come on, we still got to get that thing. Okay, here we go, everybody. Let's find out, did we get the chase? I don't think it's going to look very different because it is only glow in the dark, but let me see here. It, you know what it might be? It's hard to tell. Okay, but here we go. I haven't seen the pod yet. And let's just flip this thing over and let's find out, is it the chase? It is not. Great. And if you guys want to see what the common pod looks like, there it is right there with All Might on one side and then of course the limited edition number on the back. Can number two, and let's find out if we got the chase on this thing. And no, this is, I believe, the last All Might that I had ordered. So if I do really want to get that chase, I'd have to order more of them. And because I've already ordered, I believe, four of them, I don't know if I'm going to be getting any more. Come on, chase. 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 We need that chase. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, you know what? It's a bit of a different colored hair. Here we go. Three two, one, it is, <laughs> oh, it's not great. Whoop. I guess I haven't been very lucky with All Might today, but I am pretty lucky that this arrived, and if you guys wanna check out what it is, there is the label right there. I'm super pumped about this thing. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, I was able to order the Wonder Woman one. I'm actually really curious to see how they did that figure because I believe she's holding a sword as well as the shield, and I wanna see how they made that thing completely metal because there's some pretty small parts there. And I mean, Funko, you are putting some premium foam inside of here, and I believe the pop box should be right here. It is. All right, everybody, well, here is the die-cast Iron Man Funko Pop right here. And if you guys want to check out the front of the box, there it is right there. And I love how heavy these things are. I say that because that's the first thing I think of. Like, this thing here is about the weight of a brick. And now, everybody, here is the die-cast Iron Man right here. And as soon as I took it out of the box, something that I noticed right away is Funko, the bottom's still loose on this thing. The only reason I complain about it is because if you were to pick it up from anywhere that isn't the bottom, the whole thing would just pop off. And it's just not great for the figure. But besides that, I really do enjoy these things. And if you guys want to check it out, here is the die-cast Iron Man right here. And like, seriously, this is heavy duty. And now I noticed somebody probably just watching the video. This looks like a normal Funko Pop, but to be holding this thing, it is heavy, it is cold, and it is definitely made of metal. And just to give you guys a bit of a better idea, let me just... I mean, come on, that's solid. And then if you guys want to see Iron Man inside of the acrylic case, here it is right here. And it's pretty much exactly like a normal pop box, just in like this kind of like etched style. And I really do like it. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another... <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, dumper, drop a low. Mama called me. I'm bumping that pot in the car, pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got a bad baby and she's independent.